to integrate each of the following with respect to x. So what we do when we need to integrate, so this one is a formula. First, you add 1 to power, add 1 to power and then we need to divide the power, divide with power. Alright, so add 1 to power, you add first and then you divide, you add and then you divide. So for A, integrate each of the following. So integrate 3x square and then dx. Why dx? This one means with respect to x. So we see here, there is another thing that need to be concerned because you see here, this one would be indefinite, indefinite integral. So, indefinite integral means there is no range. So, for indefinite integral, you must add up with C at the end of your calculation. So, here, this is 3, right? So, 3, after you integrate, this one, you are going to integrate x. So, you can see x power of 2, right? So, when we integrate, add 1 to power, so 2 plus 1, and then we divide with power. So, we divide the with power, power is 3. So, after that, we add up with C because it is indefinite. So, you see here, 3 can be cancelled out, x power of 3 plus C. Okay. So, B, 4 over 3, x cubed. So, dx, so when we integrate, so we are going to integrate x. So, we just let 4 over 3 be here. So, for this one, x power of 3, you add 1 to power, so 3 plus 1. And then you divide with the power 3 plus 1 is 4, you divide back with 4 plus c. So, here you get 4 over 3, x power of 4 divided by 4. So, here this one is constant, this one is constant, 4 over 3 divided by 4 is equal to 4 over 12. You can use your calculator or you can see here 4 over 3 when you divide it by 4. So, you see here 4 is actually 4 over 1. So, when you divide with a fraction, you need to change place, right? So, this one will be 4 over 3 times 1 over 4. So, we get 4 over 12. So, this so, here we have x power of 4 and don't forget plus c plus c. So, you see this one can be simplified. 4 divided by 12, you get 1 over 3. So, 1 over 3 x 4 plus c. Or you can directly, which is also equal x over 4, x power 4 divided by 3 plus c. So, other one is accepted. C, so C integration of negative x dx, so you just let negative is actually negative 1, right? x is x power of 1. So x, you add the power with 1, we get 1 plus 1, and then you divide with the power, 1 plus 1 is equal to 2, and then you add up C because it is indefinite. Negative 1 divided by 2 is negative 1 over 2, and then you have x square plus C. For D, you have integration of negative 2 over x square dx. So, you see here, you want to add up 1 to the power. This one is same with the differentiation before. We need to bring the power up. So, this one is equal to negative 2 x. So, square, when you bring up the power, will become negative dx. So, you take out the constant first, negative 2. And then this one you integrate. So, x. So, you need to add up the power with 1. This is negative 2 plus 1 divided by negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. So, you need to add up with c. So, here you do constant and constant. Negative 2 divided by negative 1, you get 2, right? So, x negative 2 plus 1 is x negative 1 plus c. So, this one you want to make it positive back. So, you bring it down after you do integration plus C.
d integration of 3 over x cubed dx so here again you bring the power up so integration of 3 x negative 3 dx you see you bring it up and then you can integrate so 3 is 3 so this one you add up 1 to power so x negative 3 plus 1 divided by the power now become negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2 and then you need to add up c because it is indefinite so here 3 divided by negative 2 is negative 3 over 2 so here you have x negative 3 plus 1 is x negative 2 plus c so you want to make the power positive right so instead of up you need to be under so it will become negative 3 2 x square you see here it will become down to be positive plus c so f integration of 3 set x dx because with respect to x again to add up with 1, it will be easier if we change it in term of power. So, it will become 3x power of half dx. So, here we just put the constant back and then we integrate this one. So, x, so we, that we add up the power with 1. So, half plus 1. So, half plus 1 is equal to 3 over 2, right? So, we divide with the power. This one would be plus c. So here we do constant and constant 3 divided by 3 over 2 is actually equal to 3 and we divide with fraction actually we multiply 2 over 3 see here you change place okay and then x half plus 1 you get x 3 over 2 plus c don't forget so this one you will get 2 right so 2x this one is 3 over 2 this one is 3 over 2 3 over 2 plus C. Which is also 2. So this one is third, right? So third, x power of 3 plus C. This one is F and E. G integrate 2 over so we see this one is cube root of x dx so we need to bring the power up so integration of 2 when we bring up it will become this one is actually so I just change to power first it will be easier for you to see this one is x so we see here this one is cube root means 3 must be down and you see we don't have any power so 1 over 3 okay so when we bring it up, it will become 2x negative 1 over 3 dx. You see how we bring the power up, it will become negative, which is equal to, so this one, we just let the constant be here, and then we integrate the x. So x power negative 1 over 3, right? So we add the power with 1, so negative 1 over 3 plus 1 divided by the power so negative 1 over 3 plus 1 is actually negative 1 over 3 1 is 3 over 3 just write it in case you get confused okay this one would be plus c don't forget to add up c if it is indefinite so here we get 2x so negative 1 over 3 plus 1 this one you will get 2 over 3 divided by this one is 2 over 3 plus c which is equal to so 2 divided by 2 over 3 so when you divide fraction it's actually you multiply the opposite position this one is x 3 2 over 3 I'm sorry plus c so here we get 3 right because this one is being cancelled out x 2 over 3 plus c so this one if we change back this one you see here cube root x square plus c h negative 3 over integration negative 3 over 
So the x cube. So in this case, we need to open the. We can open. We can expand, right? So cube, cube. So here negative three cube. You get negative twenty seven. So set x cube. You will get set x. Okay. Or oh, this one you see here. This one cube is also equal to. Alright. So this one forget dx dx. So this one is equal to. 27. If we change this one to power, so it's actually x 3 over 2 dx, right? You see here? Okay. So like usual, we bring the power up. So negative 27. If you bring the power up, the power will be negative 3 over 2 dx. Okay. So here after we get this thing, then only we can differentiate for this one. So there is two cases, if we can expand or we cannot expand, but then we will go through that later on. Alright, so this one, negative 27, so we add the power with 1, so x negative 3 over 2 plus 1. And then here would be negative 3 over 2 plus 1 is equal to, so this one is negative 2 over 2 plus 1. So basically, when we want to add up with fraction, we change the below need to be the same. So 2, 2, right? So here, negative 27. So negative 3 over 2 plus 2 over 2, you actually get negative 1 over 2, right? So this one is negative 1 over 2 divided by negative 1 over 2. So here, negative 27 divided by negative half. So it's actually negative can be cancelled out. So 27, when you divide fraction, you actually multiply the opposite. So, right, divide by 1 over 2 is actually multiply with 2 over 1. So this one would be x negative half. So here we get 54, x power of negative half. So you bring it down, 54 over x power of half, which is also equal to 54. Um, so you see here, I made a mistake, right? You see, I forgot to put C. So, this is indefinite. Definitely need to add up with C. So, this one is at C. At C. This one is... Okay, also plus C. Plus C. And then, here, 54 divided by set X plus C. So, this would be the final answer.